question two. So in this case, question two is a how question. You can see it's a how question, just quite obviously because it begins with the word how. How does the writer try to show that Mike Perham's voyage was really tough? You should write about what the writer tells us about the voyage, the words and phrases used by the writer. So this how question is just like all the other how questions we looked at in class. So the shark question was how does the writer make it sound tense and frightening? The gorilla exam paper was how does the writer make it sound like a wonderful day? It's the same kind of question, you've got to answer it exactly the same way, but this time is the question about how is the voyage tough? So remember the how, all the other questions you're looking to make 10 points. With the how question you only need to make 5 or 6 because you get a mark for your point in your quote and then you get a separate mark for explaining your point to make a PEE. So again here's the text, so what I would do is I would tell my students to zoom in on any keywords and pictures which show the voyage to be tough. So go through that and basically highlight you anything that makes it sound tough. So for example the fact that he did it solo he did it on his own, that makes it tough, so I would highlight that. So pause the video now if you've got the paper in front of you or just looking at the screen. Try to pick out maybe five or six things. Here's what I picked out. So Cabin Boy Conqueror of the World. So conquer, if you conquer something, it's something you, it's something tough to conquer. It's an accomplishment that tells us that. The fact that he was there for nine months, it's a long time. The fact that he was a teenager, he's a young person doing this. The fact that he was solo, he was on his own doing it, that makes it tough. Then there's other um, adjectives and verbs used. So for example, battling, grueling, monstrous. Yeah, all these words that the writer uses make it sound like a really tough experience. It, it doesn't just say the waves of the North Atlantic, but he was battling the waves almost like it was a fight all the time. Um, he covered thirty thousand miles. So that's a really long, uh, really far amount of distance that he covered. T he only slept with ten minute intervals, so he hardly got any sleep. He was buffeted by forty five mile an hour wi um, winds. He was lonely. There was 50 foot wind and he nearly capsized. Um, the storms lasted 24 hours. There was huge seas and monstrous storms. So all these things tell us how tough it was. So all we've got to do now is put that into a paragraph. So like I said to you before, you only need five or six things, but there's loads and loads of things. All these things here, it says in the mark scheme, you could have talked about and turned into a PE. So remember our point evidence explainer, and again, you're only doing this for the how question. You make a simple point, you give a quote, and then you say what do the words the quote and that suggest. So basically, why you've picked your evidence and how does it prove your point, and I'll give you some examples. So remember the question, how does the writer try to show the voyage was tough? So remember your point is probably going to be pretty similar all the way through. You're just going to be saying how the writer made it tough. So for example, the writer shows how the voyage is really tough when it's described as solo. So now I'm going to put in my explanation and say why the fact that it's described as solo makes it tough. Well, the fact that Mike Perham did the journey alone and with no help from anyone makes it a lot more difficult than any if he was with a team of people. It must also have been lonely and psychologically draining. So it's pretty much common sense, isn't it? If you were doing a trip or a draining activity, it would be a lot easier to do it with 10 or 15 people around you. Because the fact he's doing it on his own, he's got no one to talk to, no one to interact with, that makes it tough. And I've also added it must have been lonely, so he had no one to talk to. That must have made it tough. So another point, the writer shows the voyage was tough by explaining the journey took nine months. So again, all I'm going to say now is why the fact it took nine months makes it tough. This suggests it was really hard, it was a very long time being alone at sea and battling against all weather conditions in just a boat. It would also be nearly a year without seeing his friends and family. So I've explained why nine months makes it tough, because if it said the journey would have lasted a weekend or a week, we probably wouldn't be thinking it's that big a deal. But the fact he was there for almost a year just shows you what, um, what experience he went through. Okay, another point. The writer shows the voyage was tough by an expert giving his opinion. So you remember towards the end of the article, there's someone from the Guinness Book of World Records. who um, It's a book that publishes records from around the world. And the expert says, even the most experienced would be tested by the mental and physical stamina required. So this quotation has come from someone from the Guinness World Records, which suggests it must be a great accomplishment as they only record great feats of achievement. And then I'm going to zoom in on physical stamina. So remember zooming on keywords, so I'm going to zoom in on that. He also says the stamina required must be a huge amount, which shows how hard the trip was. The writer shows the voyage was tough by describing where Mike slept. 
and it says where he slept is that he's cooped up in a 50 foot boat so again I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to zoom in on the word cooped which may, means being in sort of a small space so I'm just going to say why the use of the word cooped makes it sound tough very easily this suggests there was little room to move around easily if it would have said in the article that he was sleeping in a massive massive bedroom we wouldn't feel particularly sorry or even think about it but the fact that he was in a tiny space that he didn't really have any room to breathe or to move around freely does make it tougher okay another one in the journey mike experienced huge seas and monstrous storms so then i'm going to say why does that make it tough okay and maybe even zoom in on monstrous so this suggests that he had huge weather problems to deal with and paints an image to the reader of him battling against enormous waves on his own. So the fact that he had huge seas means he would have to deal with lots of, lots of drama. And then I'm going to zoom in on the word monstrous. So the use of the adjective monstrous almost suggests the sea had turned into a creature that Mike has to defeat. So monstrous is almost like a big monster that he had to defeat. And here are the PEs just put into little section so you wouldn't probably need to number in your exam but you could have separate PEs remember PEs are only going to be two or three sentences each um, so don't go writing sort of seven or eight lines for each one two or three sentences for PE so you've made your point give your evidence explain why your evidence proves your point